Hey guys, Nick Espinoza, your chief security fanatic here, and today we're actually talking about Amazon, and the reason why we're doing this is 19 consumer and privacy groups just banded together and leveled the charges on Thursday that the Amazon Echo Dot Kids Edition, this is the small Amazon Echo, aka Alexa, the Kids Edition, which is apparently very colorful, youth-oriented, and all of this that basically allows them to ask questions, play music, control thermostats like a normal one, etc., etc., they are saying that it is allegedly collecting voice recordings and other identifying information on kids under the age of 13 years old, and also that the system's parental controls are incredibly flawed. Now, some of the allegations that they're leveling uh, include, and I've got notes here, that the permissions need to be more specific. The online portal lacks an effective system for verifying that a parent is the one giving an approval for a child's use of the device, meaning that the kid could just spin it up themselves. Um, the complaint also alleges that Amazon keeps children's voice recordings longer than necessary and the tools allowing parents to delete recordings actually do not work properly. Now, the result, according to this complaint, is that Amazon could collect a wide range of information on children's names, birth dates, home addresses, phone numbers, without the parents knowing or their consent or their ability to delete it. The complaint also says that the Echo Dot Kids edition allows outside developers whose skills, that's what Amazon calls their apps, on the service resemble the apps familiar to users of mobile devices that collect data in ways that lack transparency and potentially violate the COPPA or Children's Online Privacy Protection Act. Now, Amazon came out and their spokeswoman, Kinley Persall, said the Echo Dot Kids Edition is, and I quote, compliant with the Children's Online Privacy Protection Act, but her statement did not actually address any of the very specific issues. And so I think this raises a question here that we need to answer as a whole is, at what level do we need to have safeguards in place so that we are ensuring that parents have total control over their kids uh, when they are doing things online, such as asking questions, spinning up devices in ways that maybe we don't necessarily know, and these services are allowing the kids to accept agreements that they shouldn't be. I talked about Facebook doing this a while back with a research app that they would pay people like 20, 30 bucks a month for to install into their phone, and it would data mine the ever-living bejesus out of you. But Amazon was um, actually letting kids, or excuse me, Facebook was letting kids with this app ages 13 to 17, in other words, under the age of 18, where they're able to sign contractual agreements, actually sign contractual agreements and get paid through Facebook. That is a serious issue. And it seems like Amazon has got some issues here as well. So you tell me, what is the level of control that we need for kids? As a parent myself, I want to make sure that I have total visibility in everything that they're doing. Not that I want to read the latest gossip from school on text message or anything like that. But I want to make sure the environment that my kids are freely using is safe. And so where's the line? What do we do? How much government involvement do we need? How much parental involvement do we need? And should the Child Online Privacy Protection Act be strengthened since it was created in 1998 and now we are 20 plus years later? So take that for what it's worth, but that is your news of the day. And please like, share, follow me here on Facebook and Twitter at Nick AESP. And as always, stay safe and stay online. Thanks guys.